Hi folks, in this video we will try to model and analyze the 2D landing game. We will take a problem from textbook Brun. In this textbook, you can see that the main spec will try to bend and compress when load is acted upon. So we need to model it as a beam. The rest of the two starts will only take compression and tension. So they need to be modeled as a link. The point D and point T are constrained in UX, UI, U and UZ and the point these two points are only free to rotate about Z axis. The point C is actually free to move in Y direction and rotate in any other about any other axis. The point A is actually the point which actually bears the load at an angle of 30 degrees to the vertical and at a magnitude of 10,000. I will consider the point C to be the origin. So point B would become minus 12, comma 0. This would become 12, comma 0, 0, comma minus 12, 0, comma minus 24, 0, comma minus 36. As this is a structural problem, preference is structural, say so ok. Preprocessor, element type, add element or delete. There are two elements to be considered link in the beam. Say link to this bar, apply beam to node 188, say so ok. 2 node 188 doesn't take any real constant. So we need to assign real constant per link. That is, area to be 1 inch square. Metal properties, metal models, structural, linear, elastic, isentropic. Assume the inch models to be 3, E, 7 and poison structure to be 0.3. Say ok. To assign the real constant to the beam, go to section, beam, common section, Select the subtype to be circle, radius to be 0.5. This is a mesh preview. To actually refine the mesh, give n to be 20 and to actually re re mesh it refinely, and really give t to be 10. So, your message, cross section message, defined. Say OK. Now we need to start modeling it. Modeling three points in active CS. Zero comma zero minus twelve comma zero. Zero comma minus twelve. Sorry, twelve comma twelve comma zero. Zero comma minus twelve. Zero comma minus twenty four. 0, comma, minus 36 as told earlier. Now you need to draw lines through these key points. Create a line, lines, straight lines, and create straight lines through these key points. As we have modeled the geometric model, you need to mesh it. To mesh so go to mesh, mesh tools, set global. The first part of your mesh tool actually helps you to assign the element attribute. The second part of your mesh tool actually help you to assign control size and third part will actually help you mesh the lines or area or volume. So first I'll try to mesh the link. Select link, say OK, set the control size for the link element as these two are the link elements. As they are links, you need to give number of element distance to be 1. Say OK and mesh the concern lines. These two lines are meshed to actually assign them links. Now you need to mesh other lines to be beams. To do so, go to plot, say lines. Mesh set. Go to element type number, select beam, say OK, 
control five lines select the lines as they are being of each to be 12 length and give the elements edge length to be one okay and make the concern line the whole model is meshed now if you need to see the, the actual size of it size and shape of it go to control plot go to style size and shape size and shape go to display of element say on ok so you can see that model is meshed to have these two to be the elements or links and this element to be beam I'll opt to control size now you need to apply load go to load define load apply structural force and moment go to displacement on key points these two key points are constrained in ux ui uz rotation x and rotation y but it is free to rotate about z axis say ok now select this point which is actually free to move in y direction and rotate about z axis so it is only constrained in ux and ui say ok before applying load about this point it needs to be noticed that it is applied at an angle to apply load at an angle you need to rotate the local corner system of that particular node to do so get into modeling create node and rotate nodal cs about by angle select the concerned concerned node and as it to be it need to be rotated about z about 60 degrees okay okay The, ro the local node corner system of that particular node is being rot is rotated. Now you can apply load. Go to apply structural force and moment on node. Select the node and in the exit direction that to be 10,000. Say OK. Now as your total problem is complete, you can solve the problem. Solution current LS say OK. Wait for the solution to be done. Go to game cross processor, go to list plot, list results, reaction solutions, select all, and you can verify this answer with your broom textbook. Reaction at C is about 8407 and your answer answer shows about 8415 just getting near to it. So in this way you can actually solve the landing your problem and you can actually plot desired answer, deform shape, nodal solutions just degrees of freedom or anything else and you can see it to be a real model when you actually go to style size and shape display on say ok so folks this is how you will actually model the element so up till next video bye